Greetings and salutations, you guys here in here. Welcome to another sale. I'm sorry, I'm so late. I was helping Eliza finish a project. Oh, but you guys want to see the project. It's really cute. It's not yet done, but um, it will be done hopefully today. Um, I was helping him work on it while my sister was um, bringing Cade to water polo. Which they still had today, even though it was raining, because they said it was only a light rain, which apparently they still do that during the light rain. But, um, oh, also happy Tuesday. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. And if you're watching this video, I feel like it's already over. Check down below in the description box. Items availability and the pricing will be down there. Uh, why doesn't it want to upload to my computer? Oh, here we go. Hi, Kirsten, Dodo Bird. There's West Coast Gal, Phoenix Mom. Uh, sister of a down. Hello. Hi, guys. How's everyone doing? There's Angeli, Cindy. Uh, oh, if you guys can help me think of a question, too. I have these really cute um, cable protectors. This is today's giveaway. They're little twin star cable protectors. They're, you put one on each end of your, like, charging cable or whatever, and it helps it from getting all squiggly, uh, which is awesome, so... Love that. So that is tonight's giveaway. Hi, Tofo. Hi, Edie. Odelia. Hi, guys. I'm doing well. Oh, today, um, I brought my mom to Zach's, uh, what's it called? Field trip. They had a field trip today. I couldn't go because only one parent or, like, one person, uh, for each child could go or something like that. So, um, I couldn't go, but I dropped off mom. And I did a little bit of thrifting. Unfortunately, I didn't really. I didn't get anything for the sale from for, from today's thrifting trip because I was just thrifting like really quickly. But um, it was fun. I got Elizo some stuff. Oh, I can show you what I got Elizo too. He actually kind of claimed it for himself. It wasn't technically gonna be his, but it's okay. Uh, Ooh, that's a good one, West Coast Cal. What's your favorite animated movie? Let's do that. Hi, Dubai Silk. How's it going? Thank you for joining us today. Okay, so I'm going to do... Wait, where'd that question go? I don't see it anymore. Um... Wait, where, where did she type it out? Oh, what's your favorite animated movie? There it is. Thank you. That's our question for today. And our link is right here. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. It was this morning's youtube video and then leave your answer there and where's that photo Eliza. i think it's this i feel like my computer is like packed with stuff ah here you go okay <laughs> this is Eliza. uh oh there you go i got that glass like mug it's actually crystal it's a waterford crystal uh i don't know like, whatever those are called is it a stein is that like a beer i don't know what those are called but it's like a giant mug thing and it's crystal and i got that and then that um piece of stone underneath he was using it as a coaster he said that that was the coaster for his cup so he was having some chocolate milk inside his new crystal cup and that's Eliza looking super happy. My sister was super stressed because she was like, that cup is intense. I hope he doesn't drop it. And I'm like, no, it's going to be fine. And then where are my other photos? Oh, here we go. Okay, this is um, Eliza and me. That's us working on his project on the floor. We were, uh, he's making a leprechaun trap for a project for school. It's due on Thursday, so, uh, we got the bear, we got the bones of it ready to go. Um, uh, but this is, hold on, is this the photo of what it looks like? Okay, here is, I think this, oh, this is it, right there. So, I put, like, little twinkle lights inside of it, and it's supposed to be, 
a hill eventually, but like we wrap the box in green and then he's gonna, we're gonna turn it into a hill. Um, we're gonna add more construction paper and stuff to make it look like a little hill. Um, and that's supposed to kind of be like a cave and he's supposed to lure in the leprechaun with like a pot of gold. Uh, we had like a little, uh, what are those things called? Like a little cauldron thing from a hair was before she left. Lizel actually made a little paper cauldron, which is so cute. He just like made it out of paper and tape. And then we put little, um, little stones inside. We had some fool's gold, some pyrite, and put that inside of there. So that is that. How do I take that out? Okay. And here's a photo of it. So like in another, I think this is, oh, here we go. So we made like some fake grass. The door like opens and then it's, even the inside is green. He was like, I want it to be green inside too. And I was like, okay, so we lined a box in green also, but that's gonna be a hill. I think we're gonna put like little flowers and stuff on it, like little flower patches or something to make it look more like natural, I guess. He said that it needs to be the leprechaun's natural habitat. So he was like, it needs flowers, it needs grass. I don't know if there's gonna be a tree, but yeah, that's eventually gonna turn into a hill the box. We're gonna add some, we're gonna like drape some construction paper around it and finagle it or something. Um, oh, is it a loading circle? Did it not play? No. Did the video play? Adrian, did you see it? Is it playing now? It was kind of like, um, I don't know if it's called a boomerang or something, but it has like little twinkling lights inside to help lure the leprechaun in. Do you see it now? No. Is it still not playing? Oh, bummer. I don't know why it's not playing. Maybe it's because it's not like an actual, it was a boomerang and not an actual video. Um, hold on. I have two more. Did it, did it still not play at all right now? Um, okay, let me try one more thing. Maybe this will work. I'm not sure. Oh, is it playing? Oh, okay. Ew, it's like super late. Like I did that like a while ago. The lag must be really slow today. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm on the good internet. I'm not on the slow one. Hi, Margaret. Oh, thank you, Nareda. Oh, the video played. Okay, perfect. Yay. Okay. I was like, why isn't it playing? Um, I think... Do I have another video of it? Let's see. What's this? Oh, this is like a close-up of what it like, <laughs> the fake cold, like the little cauldron that Eliza made. And then that's it when the like, the little twinkling lights are on. But we're going to put the cauldron in there. I think we're going to paint the cauldron gold also. Um, but it's just like a little cauldron that you put like candies in for like Harry Potter themed birthday parties. Which we gave away, I think we gave it away like for Cade's, uh, I think it was his 13th birthday party is when we had his little Harry Potter themed party. Hi Marjorie! Okay, good. I'm glad it played. Um, but yes. That's what I was up to. And that's why it took me a hot second to come on. I think this is another video. Oh, there's Eliza. He's doing his homework. There's his little project. How cute! Uh, the house is a mess. Don't look at it. Okay. Well, that's what we are up to today. Um, and what I'll probably be up to again after the live is over today. But happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are all having a great like evening. It has been super rainy this whole day. And it's going to carry on into tomorrow. So, I don't know. I've just been like trying to stay dry because it has been crazy 
But that um, here's the link again one more time for the giveaway right there. Again, we're giving away these super cute cable protectors. They're like little Sanrio, um, little twin star cable protectors. That's what we're giving away today. And I'll leave your answer to today's question. Thank you again to West Coast Gal for providing it. What's your favorite animated movie? Leave your answer in the comments of the video that I linked to was this morning's YouTube video. And then um, at the end of today's live, we're going to be announcing the winner. Okay. Well, I guess we can get started. But did everyone, like, did anyone do anything exciting today? Did anyone just, like, go thrifting or find any cool treasures? Also, Mom gave me um, a bunch of clothing. So, I think I'll do some of them. Um, because it has been kind of, like, sitting in a bag <laughs> in my room for, like, the past two days, and I totally forgot about them. So, we're going to do item number one. This is going to be an item from Mom's Closet. And this is just a super cute um, Ra Polo Ralph Lauren dress. It's called the Mesh Mini. It's in an extra large. And it's just, like, a cute, like, knee length. Like, I think it might be at the knee or a little above the knee. Uh, it's like a polo shirt dress. And it's in this vibrant red color. Very nice. Oh, Edie, I'm glad that you got back from the hospital. Are you feeling better? This is our red polo. Um... Polo, what is it? Polo, Ralph Lauren. Okay, we're doing this for just $10. That's gonna be item number one. And this is from straight out of mom's closet. Fresh out of mom's closet. All right, so that's number one. Oh, thank you, Maria, yeah, I, um, I the I no longer have that first jacket anyway, so I only have the second one at, at this point, and I like it. If I think I think I'll keep it at least for the time being, and then if I find something else um, that I like more, then I might sell that one. But um, congratulations, Dodo Bird called this one. Congratulations, Dodo Bird, for getting that red dress. Hannah, you didn't miss much. <laughs> um, we just literally just started. I was showing everyone the project Eliza and I were working on. All right, up next, we got number two. And... Oh, I actually have another. Let me just do another dress. Is this another dress? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, this is a very similar dress. But this is a Lacoste one, and it is in like this, uh, there's a little Lacoste alligator right there. Um, this is a size 46. It'll fit like an extra large, just like the red one. And it's in this, uh, like a wine or burgundy color. Um, this one though, like the little collared area, like this doesn't button like it's just open uh and this is gonna be item number two this is our burgundy lacoste uh polo dress size 46 XL. and we'll just do this one for ten dollars as well that's gonna be item number two again Straight out of mom's closet. Okay. All right. Then, uh, ooh, looks like Hannah called that one first. Congratulations, Hannah. This one's going to you. Set that over there. Okay. Um, up next, you guys are liking the dresses. My mom has, like, so many. Uh, that's, like, my mom's favorite style of dress. Um, I think, like, I had a bunch before already, too. Um, the last time that mom gave me clothes. But, okay. That's it for right now. 
Um, actually, let's do one more clothing. What is this? This is... Oh, this is a J. Crew dress. This one's really pretty. So it kind of has like a cap cap sleeve. I think that's what that's called. And it's in this navy uh, and white floral motif. Again, this one goes um, a little below the knee. And it just has kind of like a nice scoop neck. This is a J. Crew dress. This is size 14. And it like has a little cinch at the waist a little bit. And... Yeah, really cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mom gave me some of her old stuff. Uh, so this is J. Crew blue floral dress, size 14. I told you guys she's been cleaning out her closet. She said she's gonna give me some more stuff uh, later on, so I'll probably have even more clothing um, within the next few days. And then this one is also going to be just $10. It's going to be item number three. Oh, uh, Laura calling it. Congratulations, Laura. Oh, uh, you guys are going to be set for the summer. Yay. All right. Congratulations, Laura. And up next, okay, let's do a bag. Uh, oh, let's do a fun summer bag. Uh, next up, I have, this is a um, a woven fabric bag, and this is a Kurt Geiger. Super cute. It's in, this is actually black. It's not, like, navy. It's black. And then it has gunmetal colored Hardware has a little bird right there and it has little leather pieces on the ends and It doesn't have any pockets or anything Just the interior just looks like that and it's really cute. The straps are long enough to carry on your shoulder Carry it like that No pants Saturdays <laughs> Oh, Sarah, you did, yeah. Mom keep mom takes really good care of her stuff, so she's, and she's really good at doing laundry. Like, I don't know, she like keeps everything literally looking brand new. Uh, so this is number four. This is our um, black woven fiber uh, Kurt Geiger tote with gunmetal hardware. And this one, let's just do this one for $35. I don't know. Let's do that. And that's number four. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you, Laura. Not that I have anything to do with it anyway. And, oh, Dawn's calling it. Congratulations, Dawn. Number four. It's going to you. Awesome summer bag. You're going to love it. Okay. Um, up next, we got item number five. I'm also going to have more shoes from mom eventually, too. She's going to go through some more of her shoes. Um, so stay tuned for that. She wears um, size 8.5, sometimes a 9, depending. So, Hi, Phoenix Mom. How are you? I don't know, Laura. My, my mom and my sister, I you know, I get it from my mom. Like she always says. She's like, you learned from the best. And I'm like, yes, I did, Mom. Thank you. Oh, uh, Don, you're going to love it. It's such a cute piece. Okay, uh, next up, I have a... Um, oh, this is a Syrup and Rose uh, belt bag. And it's in this brown leather. It's super cute. It's like a belt bag, body bag. Um, the strap like extends really long, too. So... 
makes a really good like body bag length but also a really great like just fanny pack um as well it's in just brown leather a little zipper pull right there interior is in just black fabric there's no other pockets or anything this is the only compartment and it's a nice like size it will hold your cell phone inside of it perfectly and has a lot of room to spare so i need to make sure my phone is plugged in because it was dying no this is a syrup and rose okay so this is our brown leather syrup and rose belt bag oh and the, the belt is just in a black like a fabric and the hardware is antique brass Okay, we're going to do this one for 30 This one is in like new condition as well. It's in really great shape. That's going to be item number five. Um, you should just go. All right, item number six is up next. <laughs> I know, mom literally is. She, she like knows instinctively what size like anything is. If she puts her foot inside, she's like... Nine and a half. Ten. <laughs> I'm like, how do you even know like what a size ten is like on your foot? Okay. So that is our little belt bag. Up next, let's do... Ooh, do you guys want pants? Because mom gave me a bunch of like cool pants. This one is a mid-rise skinny jean from Banana Republic, and it's a size 32. And then it has, like, these, like, little cut off -y looking ends, which are cute, and they're, like, in this red-orange color. I feel like the color looks a little bit more saturated in the video. It's definitely more orangey than how it is showing up. Like, this is really, really bright right on camera. Um... But yeah, this is, it's called the Mid-Rise Skinny, size 32, Banana Republic. So we're going to do this one for item number six. Yeah, number six. Banana Republic. Um, Mid-Rise Skinny. Jean, size 32. And these are just going to be $10. Okay. Up next. I feel like jeans are kind of harder to buy. Especially like... I feel like... This is probably like one of those low rise. Or I don't even know. I don't know if these are like an old pair of mom's jeans. I don't think she's a... Is she a 30? I have no clue. Anyway... Maybe we should just skip the jeans. They're just a little too difficult. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is brand new. Okay. This is brand new um, with tags still. This is a Zara blouse. It's super cute. Let me show. The, the kids are screaming. Um, look how pretty this is. It's um, like a sheer pink blouse. And then it has this really pretty floral motif. It's a size large. Oh, can you hear me now? Um, the thrifting? No, my mom wasn't really a thrifter, but she was always like... She was always someone that wanted, like, a good deal. So, like, she was always going to, like, all the sales. She always knew when all the sales were. That's where I get, like, that from. And then it, like, translate transitioned into thrifting, which I think is, like, even better. But um, this is the blouse. It's, um, it's a large, but it's a very oversized. And it just has this really pretty floral motif. And 
Yeah, it's brand new with tags. It's from Zara. So, this is <laughs> item number seven. Our sheer pink floral motif Zara blouse. New with tag, size large, but very oversized. And this one is going to be just $10. Again, it's brand new with tags. It's number seven. Okay. Um, up next. Hi, Lady Badger. How are you? Uh, we're on number eight. And I have... Ooh, my lotion. I'm loving, like, these fun summer bags. Okay. Um, I have this little pig bag. I think this is um, from... What's it from? His, what's his name? He's a YouTuber. No, well, it's... It's Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. It's the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star collab. And you're gonna get the little um, wristlet that has, like, the little pig nose. And then you're gonna get the bag and the crossbody strap is inside... It has rose gold hardware, and it's all just like vegan leather. Uh, inside has a zipper pocket and then another open pocket. It also does have little feet on the bottom and cute little ears. Uh, the little pouch has a wristlet, and then in the wristlet there are three, no, there's three card slots and there's another one right there. So it's really cute. You'll get both of these together. And then how much is this going to be, Vadrian? And they're in really great shape. They look like they're in like new condition. I don't think these have ever been used. Dawson, Jeffrey, Star, Pig, Bag, and wristlet combo. Oh, do you really, Lady Dragon? That's so funny. Oh, wait, how much did you say, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for 55 and that's for the pair. That's for the bag and the wallet. That's item number eight. And next up, we got number nine. Isn't it cute? was an accent. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's do... I don't remember if I showed this before. Okay, this next one is a Rebecca Minkoff satchel. And it's in like a stone color. And it has like this cool whip stitching. Um, there's two side pockets. Oh, I think I showed this one yesterday. Um, there's the back pocket, top handles, crossbody strap, uh, so at the bottom looks like it has leather feet, doesn't have metal feet, has leather feet, there is a little bit of, um, discoloration on this foot right there, um, I'll try to clean it off more though, but I'm not sure, there's also some slight rubbing on the corners, and inside is in great shape. It has four open pockets and then a zipper pocket, and this zips all the way closed. Um, there's also some discoloration on the back handle, just from normal wear. This is a, a vegetable dyed leather, so it will like patina over time. So it will kind of get some marks on it as you use it. Uh, so this is that one. Oh, did I? Oh, then I don't know. Hi, Linda. Oh, maybe I showed her in the hall. I don't remember. Okay, so this is our Rebecca Minkoff um, stone-colored leather satchel. And this has gunmetal hardware. Okay, we're doing this one for $45. And that's going to be item number nine. I suppose. Yeah. 
Okay, next up we got number 10. And let's do. How are you, Linda? Okay, next up, let's do. Ooh. I don't know, I've been really into like belt bags recently. Uh, another Rebecca Minkoff piece, but this is a red belt bag. It's in a beautiful like cherry red color. This has silver hardware. Um, it has a really nice like long strap so you can wear it around your waist or as a body bag. And then inside just has one zipper pocket in there. It's nice and clean. This one is in like new condition. It's really cute. <laughs> That's so cute, Linda. I have a friend whose dog is like that too. Like they're like, <laughs> the dog refuses to eat unless like someone is watching her. Uh, this is a red Rebecca. Oh, it's uh, it's leather, Kirsten. Minkoff leather belt bag with silver hardware. And this one's in like new condition. Did Vadrian just text me right now? Oh, Vadrian had to had had to reset their phone, so. Okay, how much is the red belt bag? Okay, we're going to do this one. Uh, we're going to do a $10 discount on it. So we're going to do 55 That's going to be item number 10. Oh, Linda, that's awesome to hear. Yeah, that yellow spray is so good. I need to get more. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree... Um, for some reason, we don't have any. It's like sold out. But I feel like all the stores by my house are like literally always sold out of everything. It's kind of weird. Okay, so that was number 10. That was our Rebecca Minkoff belt bag. And then next up... Did you reset it? We call him a social eater. That's so cute. <laughs> Linda, that sounds like that's like really dramatic every night with the with the animals. Uh, let's do. Oh my gosh, something like flew into my eyeball. Oh, um. This is a pair of Zadig and Voltaire sneakers. They're super cute. They're in a white. And then it has um, gold leather trim. And the inside part is actually in rose gold. So this is like regular gold and then rose gold. And it has little studs on the side. has a little like lightning bolt detail. And then on the back, it has... A little snake print embossed leather trim. Um, they do have like a little bit of wear like on the bottoms. Uh, nothing like too crazy though. And the interiors are a pretty good shape. They don't have too much wear on the inside. Um, these are size 37 for the sneakers. But they're really cute. And oh, they have like suede right here. On the sides as well. So that's all little details. They're nice and cute. Hi Tosh! Sea sales credit Gucci. <gasps> that's amazing Tosh! What a deal! Are we the real issue with our dogs eating issues? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, this is our Zadig and Voltaire white sneakers with gold and rose gold leather trim gold hardware snake print trim and um lightning 
kills. Size 37. Uh huh. Okay. Do they still sell these on, on the website? Oh, okay. These shoes retail for $348. They're still available in like all white on their website. Uh, we're going to do these for $60. And we, uh, I'm going to clean them up more. Um, I didn't get a chance to clean them up yet. Um, but they'll look cleaner than this for sure when you get them. Uh, but that's number 11. But they're honestly not in really bad shape at all. Um, and that is that. Okay, up next, number 12. So it's the Dig and Voltaire sneakers. Okay, next up. Ooh, Tosh, I can't wait to see. What was I gonna do? Uh, oh, I still have this little guy. This is the Cherry Coach shoulder bag. It's so adorable. We love it. It has the little hang tag, also with the cherry motif. It has the brushed brass hardware. You can remove the strap as well. You can attach a crossbody strap if you wanted. It has a little turn lock right here that holds the zipper pull in place. And then the interior just has three built-in card slots in the back. And it's nice and clean. This uh, bag is in like new condition. And that's number 12. It's here in chat. My number. Oh, Scorpion. How are you, Scorpion? Um, they're calling item number five. Oh, you're calling the belt bag. Congratulations. Yay. And how much is. Um, Okay, so this is number 12. Um, yeah, I think. Okay, so this is uh, our cherry coach shoulder bag. And we're going to do, oh, well, what did we have it for? Had before? 250? Okay, we had it at 250. We're going to do 200 on this one. And that's going to be number 12 for 200. Hi, Jean! I know, Adrian, you should get it. Okay, so that's um, number 12. Okay, next. Oh, um, Don, you were asking about the Chanel. Was it the zip around one? Don? Is it the zip around card case? Um, I think it was this one. Was it this guy? It'll also come with a little pearl charm um, keychain thing. This has silver hardware. This is in a magenta pink color. It's really pretty. And this is actually like all embossed, like the de like the design. It's all embossed on there. Really cute. And when you open it up, it is nice and clean on the inside, with the exception of this middle bottom portion. It's a little discoloration right there at the very bottom. But otherwise, the rest of the pockets are in clean shape. And the corners look pretty good. There's the back. Oh, Matilda called number 10. I didn't see that. Thank you. Um, that was item number 10. That was the Rebecca Minkoff belt bag. Congratulations, Matilda. Congrats. Did you see that, Adrian? Adrian. Hello. Hello. Mm. Um, did you see that Matilda called number 10? No. You keep cutting out. Okay, um, but yeah, so this is going to be number 13 then. This is our Chanel... I don't know what's happening to Vadrian. 
Hold on. Yeah, you can hear me? Could you hear me is the question. Oh, so how much is the Chanel? Chanel pink zip around card case wallet with silver hardware. It's this one, the one I've been holding up. A product carrier. <laughs> Okay, we had this one at 400, but we're going to do a little discount today. We'll do 385. And that's going to be item number 13. Yeah, they're so funny. Okay. Um, and then, since we talked about the product um, Ka here, no more salmon fees for the kitty. Prada cut here in black, and it is the soft Prada cut here. Leather is so supple, gold hardware. This one only has a shoulder strap, though. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a longer strap, um, but it's in beautiful condition. Uh, Crystal, no. Other than like the discoloration on the inside, and I did, um, I did touch up the color. I don't know if you guys remember when um, I first showed this. I hadn't conditioned and touched it up yet, but this has been touched up and looking gorgeous. It's just that discoloration on the inside that has uh, that little discoloration just inside there. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Which one? Do you, oh, you, we don't want that, well, I guess we could. Okay, Vadrian said that I should include the strap with it because I think it's super cute. So I will include also with the cut here, this Coach Rexy strap. Um, it's also in a gold toned hardware. It's not as a yellowy color as the Prada bag, but I think it still looks pretty decent, especially when you're carrying it. You don't really notice at all if there's like the color difference. Um, but we'll include the strap. It has like this cool like chain inlay with a whip stitch to attach it. And then there's also the little Rexy charm right there. For the Chanel, Don, can you do three forty-five? Um. Oh, let me check my DMs right now, Scorpion. Let me see. And how much was the Prada? Okay. And this Prada's thirteen fifty. Um, oh, yeah, um, we can totally do that, the Scorpion. Okay, I'm going to forward it to Vadrian, so. I think this is the, because I can ship that out tomorrow if you want, so that way um, it'll get to your father's house in, like, a day. So it should arrive by tomorrow's, what, Wednesday? It should arrive by, like, Thursday or Friday. Like where he lives is pretty close, so I probably I think it should arrive in a day. Um, oh, Don, you want it? All right, congratulations, Don. You're getting the pink wallet. She's a beauty. So cute. Ah. I love it. I mean, it's going to look really good with this. 
All right, Don. I'm writing that in my notes. Congratulations. Oh, I'm glad you like that wallet. It's so cute. Um, okay, so we are including this strap on this one. And this is going to be item number 14. And this is our Prada Cahir. Oh my gosh, I cannot type today. Um, in black leather with gold hardware and will come with Coach Rexy strap. And this one was $1,350? $1,350 for our Prada. And all right, no worries, Scorpion. But look how cute that is. Yes. Ah, oh, it looks so good. I I don't know why I do this. I like <laughs> no. What's funny is Eliza literally does the same thing. We both do that. I don't know why. Uh, all right. But good night, Scorpion. Hi, Lakana. How are you? Oh, did I? Thank you for telling me Phaedrian wasn't paying attention. Phaedrian's like too busy. Okay, there you go. Oh my gosh, the rain is so intense. Hi, Carmen. I'm just gonna wear this for a little while. I like this strap. Okay. Up next. <laughs> oh, should I do the loave? Okay, okay. I, yeah, I was gonna ask them like what size they want to see, and that's the only one I'm ever gonna show. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yes, okay. Um, for today only, I have a... Hi, Lakina, how are you? All right, I have something. Something to tell you guys. And that something is about a certain Loewe bag and... It's a Loewe puzzle bag. It's a size small. It's in a beautiful yellow color. Coach sexy. <laughs> I mean, Hana, it, it, it could be. <laughs> um. Oh, I keep, like, looking at my phone. I thought, like, something was happening on it. Um, are you guys ready to see it? It's a Loewe puzzle bag. And it's, um... The... Seller had it um, professionally, like, restored before they sold it. So... Um, I wasn't the one that did the exterior. Um, the interior does need more cleaning, though, which I haven't done yet. But we'll try to clean it out as well as we can. But there are some makeup stains inside. And I'll show you guys that, too. But the exterior looks really, really good. Um, it is this beautiful Loewe puzzle bag in this... Um, it's like a mustard color it's really really pretty silver hardware has the strap right here this is also the newer style it has the newer strap um it has the back pocket right here hi matilda and there's the interior so i haven't had a chance to clean out the interior yet this is what it looks like We'll try to clean it up more, but 
It does have like a like it looks like something exploded in there. They only had the exterior um, done, but this is how the bag looks without. Is this is the size small? Yeah, this is the small. It's not the medium. This is the small, and I love it. Like it's like kind of slouchy. It's cute. This this is it with nothing inside. Um, there's the bottom sides. Top handle looks good, but yeah. So this is it. Beautiful. Okay, and I need to like let it go before I end up keeping it, or else I'm just gonna hoard this thing like no other. And I'm gonna do a good deal on it because the interior is um, pretty like dirty. I'm hoping I can get a lot of it out. Um, and I'm sure a lot of it will come out, but sometimes those makeup marks do not want to come out. But we'll try our darndest. But this is it. Like I said, the exterior looks really good. It was uh, professionally done. They did a really good job. The finish is really nice. The color is really pretty. And this is going to be our yellow Loewe puzzle bag small with silver hardware. Ooh, your hat bus keychain would look really cute. Okay, we're gonna do 1,100 on this one. And that's gonna be item number 15. Okay. It's like ripping off a band-aid. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Isn't it so cute? Ah! The color is actually really, really nice. I like it. I would keep it, but I already have a yellow puzzle bag. It's really nice. <laughs> Look at the color. It's really, really good. Maybe I should switch bags. Now I'm going to wear two bags. I have my Prada and my Puzzle. Imagine if I had like three bags on. Let me just move these over because these sold. Okay, our belt bags sold. That one. Oh, look at, ooh, look at the colors. Wait, I need a, I need a blue bag. So that way I can have all the primary colors, but I don't have anything blue around me. Why don't I have a blue bag? Oh, this is kind of blue. There you go. This is a blue. Now we've got the primary colors going. All right. Um, also, I do have this one, so since I'm already holding it. Um, no, my yellow is um, more of like a, hold on. This one is more of like a, mm, what color would this be? It's like a lighter, like lemon yellow. And this is definitely a, like a mango, orangey, mustardy colored yellow. So that's like the color comparison. Ooh, a honeymoon expense. <laughs> I love that. I need to get another one of these. Like this is literally the cutest size puzzle ever. It's kind of ridiculous that you can't put anything in it, really, but it's so stinking cute. And I think they discontinued the size, too, which makes me like it even more. And I just need all the colors, so. Canary yellow. Yes. Yeah, this is more of a marigold, for sure. And then this is a lemon. Perfect colors. I also have... You guys have seen this one, but this is all. This is in the same color 
as the little nano. This is like the little nano elephant. I like to wear them together like this. I think they look so cute together. All right, um, but. Yeah, the, the one, that other yellow one, yes. That one was the Nano. And then this is a small. Oh, let me show you guys the sizes. Hold on. If you guys want to, ah! For size reference. Okay. Oh, I already have a small. I don't know why I grabbed this. Um, so size. This is... So these are the three sizes. This is a nano. This is the mini right here. And this is a small. So these are the difference in the three sizes. Like this one, like the mini will still hold like a cell phone, um, like your largest, like the largest cell phone, iPhone, but it's not going to hold like a regular size wallet or anything. Uh, but small will hold like a full size wallet, your cell phone, and like all, all the goodies. So this is a good size to have. I feel like the small is probably my favorite size. Um, and the size I use probably the most, because it holds the most stuff, but it's still like a compact bag. Um, but yeah, so those are the sizes for the puzzle bags. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Isn't the elephant pouch so cute? I love it too. It's the little nano crossbody size. Okay, so that's that guy. I'll set it over there. But isn't that calcifer puzzle so cute? It's so fun. It's like one of my favorites. And then this is the small and then mini. <sighs> oh, Calcifer. We love you so much. Okay, so those are those. Um, up next, we have Number 16. Oh, I was showing the red Chanel, right? So number 16 is going to be our red Chanel flap in caviar leather with antique brass or antique gold hardware. And this one was how much for for the red Chanel? Okay, 2750. So that's 2750. That's this guy right here. And that's... Um, this is the red Chanel flap bag and caviar leather. And this is 2750. Like that. Crossbody strap. Like that. Okay. So that's that. Sister of down more clothes. Um, let's see. Speaking of yellow, this is a brand called Como Vintage. And this is a, it's like a button up t shirt dress. And it's in yellow, black, and white. And it's uh, an above the knee. 
dress. And it just buttons all the way down. And then it has a cute little um, sleeve like that. And this is in a size XL. It's really soft. Let me see what this is made out of. Is it like a linen blend or something? No, it's 100% rayon. Okay, so this is item number 10. Or no, not 10. Uh, Dawn, I do, actually. <laughs> I was hoping no one remembered it. Let me show it, though. Okay, so this is our yellow um, Como Vintage button-down dress. In yellow, black, and white size XL. And again, $10.00. And this is number 16, $10, number 17, oh, sorry, I meant six, I put, I meant 17, Vadrian wasn't paying attention again. Wait, what was the... Oh, uh, number 16 was the Chanel, right? And that one was... Oh, I keep messing this up. Wait, who... who some, did someone call it? I'm not even looking at the thing. Oh, wait, Don called it first, so. I'm sorry, Laura. Um, Don called it first, and I, I put the wrong number, unfortunately. Don knew what the right number was, though. Thank you, Don. You're the best. <laughs> when I mess up the numbers, I blame Vadrian. I need someone else to blame other than myself. <laughs> it's okay, Vadrian likes it. I know, I'm trying to sell you another Chanel, Don. Hold on, let me show Don the Chanel. Don wants a black Chanel bag really badly. <laughs> Here's the black Chanel. It's super cute and it's super squishy. Uh, this is the vertical quilted. I don't know if this is called like the wild stitching, um, but it's like the, they use the thicker string. And the string also kind of has like a metallic uh, sheen to it, like almost like a gunmetal-y color silver sheen to the string. And then it has uh, silver hardware as well. Um, there's a back pocket right there, turn lock. There is a little bit of like rubbing on the corners. It's not very noticeable, but I feel like um, the previous owner used to string the straps through the sides to make it, um, to like change the length of it. This one actually has a pretty long chain. When I carry it, I put um, this little chain shortener um, on it. They give you these at Chanel, but I will also include this too, so that way you can shorten the strap if you wanted to. And then it also kind of gives you like a, shor a shorter top handle as well. But when you have it shortened, the bag sits a lot higher. But when you extend it to normal, it actually sit it's actually a pretty good length. I feel like most people would probably like the length that it is normally. I'm just crazy and I like a shorter strap length. But crossbody, um, it sits right at my hip. Uh huh. It's really cute. The leather is so soft and supple, and it's like what I love about it because it's only a single flap, so it's nice and squishy. It's not like structured. Um, there's one interior pocket just inside there, um, and yeah, beautiful leather, so soft, and there you go.
Okay, so this one's number 18. No, Kathleen, I put the wrong number. It's only 17. Number 16 is still available. Um, so this is our black um, vertical stitching Chanel flat bag with silver hardware. Anyway, how much did you say this one was? Okay, we have this one at 2,450. Let's do 2,200. Do more of a discount. Okay, so that's number 18. And then number 19 is up next. Okay, so that's this. Let me keep this inside here so I don't lose it. And let me do some more clothing, actually. Oh, that one had so much stuffing in it. It really didn't look that much. Okay. Oh, it does have a back pocket. I don't know if I showed that, but it does have a back pocket, which is fantastic. And number 19. Oh, these are shorts. These are actually really, really cute. Um has like a little tie um, at the waist, like a little bow, but they're um, a elastic waist. And then you can actually tie the bow to make it a little tighter if the elastic is too much. Um, this is a size 16 and this is brand new with tags. Uh, I guess they were originally $60. And yeah, they're just like nice. Um, it's like almost like a longer short. It's like a, like above, a little above the knee in the length. And yeah. Hi, Vivian. Oh yeah, for sure, Dawn. That's so nice of you. Um, yeah, Laura, Laura, if you want the dress still, it's yours. Number 17. Um... Hi, Vivian. Yeah, of course. I have, oh, Vivian. I have a small Loewe puzzle bag today if, you, if you're interested. Um, so this is our yellow, it's kind of like a yellow orange. Let me put yellow orange. Yellow orange. Um, did I, what was it, J. Crew? Yeah, J. Crew shorts with tie. Waist size 16 new with tags. And we'll just do this one for $10 also if anyone's interested. That's going to be number 19. Okay. And then number 20. Do I have any more like dresses? From uh, Oh, this one. Oh, I love this dress. This is actually really cute. Um, this is a J. Crew dress. This is size large, but um, it's like an oversized large. Probably fits a little bit like an extra large too. This is a linen dress, and it's in a blue and like a natural slash white um, stripe, and it's just like a an above the knee dress with little V neck as well, and it has a cute little cap sleeve. <laughs> you know, it's so funny, my mom literally has three of these dresses, and she's like, why do I have three of these dresses? I keep buying them like every year. <laughs> so this is um, our blue and white J. Crew striped dress, size large, and this is $10. That's number 20. Okay, up next. Uh, 
Oh, I think these are like jeans and stuff. Yeah, okay, I think that's, I don't think there's any other dresses. I think everything else is just like jeans and blouses. Oh, Kathleen, you're totally fine. Uh, okay, so that was number 20. Let me do a quick recap of what I have so far for our friend Vivian who just joined us. Um, so, Vivian, let me know if anything tickles your fancy. I'm just going to show everything really quickly that we still have left. Um, so, I have, these are size... 37 Zedig and Voltaire sneakers. Really cute. It's in white, gold, and like a snake print on the back. Um, these are size 37. We have this Rebecca Minkoff satchel. Super cute. In like a stone color. We have... Little cherry coach shoulder bag. Um, we have this red Chanel caviar flap with gold hardware. As I hop over, we have this small um, vertical stripe Chanel quilted flap bag with like a silver hardware. And there's a little back pocket right there. And this is a single flap. Really cute. We have our little um, pig bag. Uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star collaboration. And then our Prada cat here in the black pebbled leather gold hardware. This will also come with this Coach Rexy strap. Really cute. There's Rexy right there. He's adorable. Fun little charm. And then this is a small Loewe puzzle in the super fun um, yellow or like mustardy, yellowy color with silver hardware. And those are the items that we still have left. Oh, uh, thanks, Kathleen. What are you watching, Kathleen? I want to know. I'm curious. Also, if you guys haven't entered the giveaway, I'm going to leave that link for you guys. Our question is right here on the screen. What is your favorite animated movie? Oh, Marigold. Thank you, Dota Bird. I couldn't think of the color. I was like, what color did we say it was? There's the, oh, there's the link right there. And leave your answer in the comments of the video, and we're going to be uh, picking our winner at the end of the live. We're giving away these little cable protectors, and there's a little twin star. So cute. One for each end of your cable. Okay. Up next. We have... Uh, Deborah, of course. This is our red Chanel. Right here. It's a uh, caviar leather. It has a little top handle and then our crossbody strap. And the crossbody strap has a leather piece at the end. The strap is in a smooth leather. The body is in caviar. This one doesn't have a pocket on the back. And then... Turn lock inside. There's just a zipper pocket and then two open pockets. Um, I think the only like thing about the bag is that there's a little um, rubbing on the end of the turn lock. So it's a little bit silver on the very end right there. But still a beautiful bag. It's an antique like gold color. So I feel like a little color loss isn't bad. I feel like it kind of goes with the vibe of the hardware. But yeah. That's that. Hi, Zenya. Oh, thank you. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's a beautiful red color, right? It's actually, um, it's a little bit more of a cool colored red. Um, so it definitely is like a blue red. Whereas, like, um, a... This is more of like a 
of warm red. So this is cool, and this is warm. So you can kind of like see the difference. Uh, how much was this invasion? This was 2750 for this one. Yeah, 2750 Oh, the clear Chanel? <gasps> no! Vivian! That's the bag I'm currently using. <laughs> they just, like, sell it. Um, clear Chanel tote. She's gorgeous in every way. Uh, this one has the blue handles. Um, the top, the front panel is in a clear blue. And the back is in a clear green. And then the sides are just like a regular clear. Um, it's currently housing all my goodies. I've actually been using this bag a little bit. Uh, it has silver hardware. The predominant color on this one is the blue. I know these come in like different predominant colors. Like some of them have like the pink handles. This one has the blue. Um, and then the interior has like the pink. <laughs> How much is this one, Vader? How much? Oh, twenty six fifty. That's cheap. Wow. Okay. Well, we have this one for twenty six fifty. I guess this is our clear Chanel tote. Oh, that was a special price. Okay, I guess it's still a special price then. Okay, two six five zero. Um, that's number twenty one. <laughs> Vivian, <laughs> if you want it, just buy it. I'll never let it go if no one buys it. <laughs> okay, so that's number 20. It's literally like the best tote also. <gasps> Shazam! That was a fun movie. I love Chuck. Uh, the guy that plays him, he was in this TV show called Chuck. My mom and I watched that, like, every episode of that show. It was so good. It's literally like the best tote, like, ever. It has so many compartments, um, and it's like, I, I use it as a rain bag. It's like very good for <laughs> the rain. And it's so cute because you can put your cute pouches inside, and then you can see them. So, yeah, I have Totoro. There's Calcifer. We got um, Gudetama. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Gudetama. I almost forgot your name. But it's super duper cute. Adrian said to sell it, so, um, but that's, <coughs> in today's video only, after this, <laughs> after this, we're not selling it anymore, just like that yellow puzzle bag, it's gonna be mine forever, until I'm convinced to sell it again, okay, 22 is up next, but it really is, like, honestly, such a good tote bag, so good. I wish like their regular, um, the what, the Deauville, Deauville totes, I wish they had those same pockets because the pockets are so good. There's so much, there's so many compartments inside of it. It's really good. Okay. Um, next up, we got number 22. And I have a... I have some ties. Do I have any that don't have any stains on them? Um, no, Dodo Bird. Um, the size small puzzles don't have feet, unfortunately. Um, only the old mediums and the large and the extra large puzzles have feet. Size smalls don't, so. I wish they did, though. I wish all the puzzles had feet, because that would have been fantastic. But unfortunately, this one does not. <laughs> my precious. I know. Don, that's like literally me. I'm like, my precious. I feel just like Smeagol. Oh, back to the these. Oh, let's do this. Because this would actually be such a cute um, 
Easter tie. The only thing is there's a little bit of a stain on it. And I never want to, like, do anything on silk. But um, this can also be turned into a twilly. But this is an Hermes tie. And it has these little bunnies. They're so cute. I think it has, um, those are like the little golf, uh, like flag things. I don't know what they're called, but like golf. And then there's, oh, I think it's supposed to be a, the ra a race. The tortoise and the hare. Never mind. I think it's a race. I thought it was about golf, but that just shows how much I know. Um, there's little MS, little taggy things on the back. And it's in this really nice, like maroon color. Look how nice it looks with this like the butter yellow of my sweater. So cute. Um, it does have a little like stainy stain right there. So I don't know if it can be removed or anything. This is silk. Um, I never want to do anything on silk, that's why. But a good um, dry cleaner could probably get it out. Or you can turn this into a twilly if you wanted. It would be super duper cute. But this is an Hermes silk tie. Number 22, tortoise and hair, Hermes silk tie in maroon. And how much is this one going to be? Yeah, we'll do this one for oh, $45. It's number 22. It does have that little stain, don't forget. It's pro honestly, it's probably a food tie. Like, all the ties I've ever worn in my life have, like, these little stains, which is, like, from food. Me. Me eating from... <laughs> Vadrian is, like, from Pozole. And I'm like, no, Vadrian. From French fries. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, Debra, don't be sorry. You're totally fine. Uh, next... Up. Oh, hold on. I have another cute bunny tie. Uh, yeah, of course, Deborah. Here she is. This is our black Chanel. So she has the vertical um, quilting. And she also has the thicker uh, string. So the string has like a metallic kind of sheen to it. It's like a little silvery, gunmetal-y... Um, and the leather is so, so soft. There is a little bit of rubbing, like, on the corners. I think, like, the person that had this originally um, put the straps in the inside. And then to, like, make the straps, like, shorter or something, which is not the best move. But I think that's what they did. Um, but it, it's not very noticeable. The Just because it's, like, black leather. You can hide a multitude of marks and stuff. There's a back pocket. When you open it up, interior just has one zipper pocket right over there. And it just has a black um, fabric lining in the interior. And it is nice and clean on the inside. And that's what the sides, bottom. It's super cute though. And like the leather, is so squishy like it's it's really nice yeah and then this length when you carry it cross body looks like this so this sit this sits like right like where my hip is possibly a little lower but i'm wearing like this big puppy sweater so Good night, Kirsten. Also, I do have, um, it will also come with the little um, strap shortener that they give you at Chanel. So if you wanted to shorten your strap, you could do this. And this is how I like to wear it, actually, with the strap shortener on it. Because I like a shorter strap. And then, that's like this length, which I feel like, I love it. I love my bag just like right here so I can hug them. It's like my child. 
It's like I have like a, one of those baby Bjorns or whatever they're called. And it's just like strapped to me. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. That's our black Chanel. I still also have the pink Chanel as well. And I have, um, I have the blue Chanel phone bag still. And I have the other um, red Chanel that's the accordion flap with a secret pocket. So I have those Chanel bags still as well. So if anyone's interested, I also have those. Where are they? This one. This is the pearlescent pink one. And then I also have, oh, here's a blue bag when I was looking for something blue. I have the Chanel phone. And then This is the uh, accordion Chanel. And this one is in an aged calfskin. And this has silver hardware. So, yeah. So cute. This is the one that holds so, so much. Like, the accordion flaps hold a ton. Like, they hold way more than um, even, like, a single flap. I feel like the accordion flaps are, like, the secret Mary Poppins Chanel bags. And this one has a secret pocket on the side right here. So, you can put, like, a small wallet in here. Or anything smaller than the largest iPhone, like a regular size iPhone or the mini, will fit inside here. And you can actually just, like, zip it up. And then you have your secret cell phone pocket on the side. You let me have the time to, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are so funny. Uh, how much was the phone bag, Vadrian? We'll do the phone bag as number 23. So our um, blue metallic Chanel phone bag with silver hardware. Okay, well, Vadrian. So here's our Chanel bag, the phone bag. It's in this beautiful blue, and it's in like a glazed leather. And then it's like a pearlescent silver hardware. It has the enamel inside the, um, the CC. So it's silver with the blue enamel on the inside. And then this one is in like new condition. It also comes with the... Um, the card and then the care booklet as well. That'll just be tucked inside. Yeah, but this one is 1,350. Oh, 1,300? 1,300, that's number 23. Ah! Straps attacking me. <laughs> it's so cute. Such a cute little bag. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Adorbs. Oh. I can like shorten this if I wanted. Not me figuring out a way to shorten this. Oh, yeah, and I could put my little chain shortener, then I can wear it shortly. Oh, this is like almost, this is like changing the game right now. I really like this. <laughs> Adrian's like, you should keep it. And I'm like, you want me to sell everything and now you want me to keep everything? All right, 24 is up next. Um, what was I? Oh, here's another bunny thing because Easter is just around the corner. Um, this brand is by, oh, it's called Pink, and I know, a Chanel show. I should do, like, an only Chanel live sale. We'll only show Chanel items. That'd be crazy. Um, it's super cute. It's in, like, a baby blue, and then it has a white and yellow little bunny rabbits printed on it. It's so cute. 
This is silk made in Italy. Um, Pinko tie or pink ties. The brand it's P A N K pink. Um, they're really expensive. So super cute. Oh yeah, Vivian. Um, the largest iPhone though, if you have the largest iPhone, it is gonna stick out at the top, and you can't you have a case on it when you put it in the um the bag. Uh, hold on, I have a. Okay, this is pretend this is a regular sized iPhone. I just have a case. Um, that I use as an example, but like this is the regular size iPhone that fits inside with the case on. You put that in the middle, and then you do have um, two more compartments. It does expand pretty nicely, so you can put your chapstick inside right there. Um, you can put your AirPods inside as well. And then if you have like a card wallet, which I have one here somewhere. And then you can put your card wallet inside as well. So it does expand to hold a pretty good amount. So it has your cell phone, card wallet, AirPods, and like a chapstick. That's so weird, Laura. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why they started playing commercials during the live. Like that is so weird. But yeah, so it does fit like a good amount inside. It's not just gonna fit like just your phone. So that's um, phone, card case, headphones, and then chapstick. And yeah, pretty good. Gotta love like that accordion, you know? Does help it carry a lot more stuff inside. But that's that. Um, okay. Oh, I want, I'm holding this, so I also have this guy, this guy too. Um, what number is this going to be? This is number 24. This is our Chanel, um, Chanel 19 card case, and it's in like an ivory color. And gold hardware with like the leather going through. Two card slots in the back, one in the front, and then there's one up at the top. And this is number 24. It does have some marks on it. Um, I haven't had a chance to fix it up, but this will look brand new when you get it. Um, I already have a color mixed up for it. So it'll look brand new. The inside is nice and clean for this wallet too. So there's no like stains or discolorations or anything inside. Um, this is our uh, Ivory Chanel. 19 card wallet with gold hardware. And how much was this today? Okay, this one was 475 and that's going to be item number 24. Also, I can actually make this any color you want. If you like you don't like the white, I can make it any color since it's white, it'll be really easy. So, if you want it black, orange, yellow, green, metallic purple, that sounds really nice. If you want a metallic green, metallic blue, metallic orange, bronze, silver, gold, I can do that also. Pretty much any color, I can um, paint this for you. And I'll, I'll keep it like the same price. So that's number 24. <laughs> so let me know. I want to I wanna do like a fun project like that in that wallet. I feel like that'd be really cool. I just wouldn't want to do it myself in case um, someone didn't like the color. But yeah, okay, so that's 24. I feel like the rain just keeps getting harder and harder every time I listen for it. Laura, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I hope it plays another ad. 
<laughs> okay, 25 is up next. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm like, how did, like, how did he even pronounce that? Protasiwix. I mean, they're really soft puzzle bags. They're squishy. Uh, okay, so we're on number 25. <laughs> I don't even know what number we're going to today. I'm just, like, going by the, flying by the seat of my pantaloons. Ooh, I still have this one from yesterday. I really like this bag, and um, it's the Kuyana uh, little crossbody bag in this like stone colored uh, nubuck leather. The strap is in like a regular smooth leather. It's so cute. I don't. It kind of reminds me of like a like a little like Hermes Lindy bag for some reason. I think it's like the shape of it and how the straps attach. I just think it's so cute. Um, it's in really, really great shape. There's no, like, rubbing or marks or discoloration on this, on the new book. Um, the interior just has one little pocket on the inside right there, and it's just suede in the interior as well. And it has, like, this little magnetic, um, cover up at the top. And the crossbody strap is adjustable, but, um, strap is not removable. And this is, you can actually make it a strap a little bit longer if you wanted, but this is the bag. It's really cute. This will hold your cell phone. Uh, pro pro to see wits. I feel like I've never seen that ad before. <laughs> I can safely say I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, what are the ads I normally get? I feel like I get a lot of fashion file ads. And like car ads. Adrian's like, I have YouTube Red. I don't have ads. And I'm like, you are so fancy. <laughs> I am fancy. Okay, so this is our <laughs> stone, new book, colored, leather, Kuyana mini crossbody bag with gold hardware. And this is how much we did? Uh, this one's $85. And this one is in like new condition. It's in really, really great shape. That's number 25. I wonder what's happening to Eliza's project. My sister's um, helping him now. And my sister is like super artistic, right? Like she's still good at painting and all this stuff. But she is really slow. When, <laughs> when, like, any project, like, the kids do, it, like, forever. Like, Eliza and I whipped up what we made, like, so quickly. And we also did, we also finished all his homework. And he had a lot of homework today for some reason. Um, and we finished that much of the project. And I'm sure it's going to take them until Thursday to finish the rest of that thing. Okay, up next. That was 25. Um, oh, wait, Finding Solace! You messaged me about the Quianas, didn't you? Um, my mom took them when I was going to take photographs of them. So I no longer have them. I'm sorry. Um, I only, I, the only one I have still is the Fabric Tote Quiana. The one that was um, canvas and then had the leather handles. And then this um, this little guy. My mom literally took the other Kriana bags. She was like, oh, these are nice. She's like, I'm going to take these. And I was like, okay. But can you fit Anne's cat Apollo? <laughs> um, I don't know about that, Hannah. I almost said Hannah. Hannah. Oh, I still have this. This is the um, Todd's dye bag. And this is in like a taupe color. Um, this one is vintage. So this is probably from back when uh, Princess Di was carrying the same exact bag. Uh, it's beautiful. It does have like 
some some signs of wear because it is a vintage bag. There's like some rubbing on the corners and there's a little bit of color um, rubbing right here too on the bottom of the back and also a little on the handles as well. And then it has a little turn lock that fastens the top closed. But you can just leave it open as well. There's a middle dividing zipper pocket and then a back zipper pocket. Um, the inside is actually in pretty good shape. It's just in this back pocket where um, a couple different things exploded. Maybe a couple pens, a couple lipsticks could have exploded back there. Um, also, there is a pen mark right there in the inside next to my finger. Uh, but yeah, other than that though, beautiful vintage Todd's dye bag. I'm asking the important question. <laughs> mm. Laura, I think that's the newest way of measuring how big of a bag, or how big a bag is. Like, it's not oversized unless Apollo can fit inside of it. Then it's an oversized bag. Okay, uh, 26 is this one. So, this is our vintage Todd's uh, dye bag in taupe with silver hardware. Okay, we're gonna do this one for fifty dollars. That's gonna be item number twenty-six for a vintage Todd's bag. I think the cat hit them. Okay, twenty-seven. I think we're gonna go to thirty tonight. Headphones, headphones. headphones. Um. Okay. Adrian is like wondering. Oh, you know what my mom made for dinner? I haven't eaten yet though. But she made my favorite Supa Toscana. It's like the Supa Toscana from um, Olive Garden. But I feel like mom's tastes even better because she makes it a little spicy, which I like. And it's so, so good. And she puts a lot of kale in it, which I love. I love kale so, so much. <laughs> Our next item is going to be this. Oh, I have this really pretty Kate Spade backpack. And it's like a single strap, drawstring backpack. The leather, it's um, it's like a Vachetta colored leather. I don't think it's actual Vachetta though. I think like the color is just like that color of like fresh Vachetta. But I think it has, a, it's treated. So I don't think it's going to like patina or anything. Uh, it has this really pretty rainbow colored canvas. There's a nice little zippered compartment right here on the side. I love that it has a yellow zipper. I think that's really fun. And it has a drawstring, but also... The bag strap also serves as kind of like a closure for the bag as well. And then you can also carry it as a, like a tote shoulder bag also, which I think is really cool. So when you carry it as a tote, um, like this, it like will stay open. But then when you carry it as a backpack, it kind of cinches it. And then you also can cinch it with the belt, with the belt strap as well. So you can close it a couple of different ways. Uh, when you look in the inside, it's in Pretty good shit. Don't think there's any. Oh no, did I dirty that? What is that? Oh no, it's like lint. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's any like stains or anything on the interior. It just had a, like, a, little, a little, couple little lint balls that I thought was like a pen mark, but yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, it would be a, such a cool, like, uh, pool bag or, like, a beach bag. I will, Finding Solace. Um, 
I'm sure like she's just gonna like take them out for a spin a couple times and then she'll maybe give them back to me. Uh, this is our rainbow Kate spade canvas uh, convertible drawstring backpack. Um, bag with fascetta colored leather. And how much is this Adrian? Okay, we're doing this one for $35. I'm <laughs> okay, so that's 27. I don't know why I put 2.7 dot. I must be starving. Tofo's calling it. Congratulations, Tofo. Such a cute bag. You're going to love it. You are set for summer. Okay, let's put that over there. All right, 28 is up next. And for number 28, I have one of these guys. This is the Marc Jacobs Natasha. And it's in a taupe colored leather. It has gold hardware. Um... This is also like the updated version that has the long, or it has the thicker strap as well. This also will come with a dust bag. There's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the inside. And then you do also have that zipper pocket that's um, in the top flap that gets, that goes all the way into the back of the bag. So that's really nice. And strap is adjustable and it is removable. So you can also use this as a large clutch as well. And this is gonna be Item number 28, this is, oh, and it's in really great shape. It's in pretty much like, like new condition. Uh, it's nice and clean inside and outside. Hi, Purple Rain. How are you? And yay for getting off of work. Okay, this is our taupe gray leather mark by Mark Jacobs Natasha with gold hardware. And how much is this, Adrian? Okay, we're doing this one for $60. It's going to be number 28. 60, 60. 28. All right, then 29 is up next. And we have. <laughs> like what do I have around me? It's eight twenty three already. Jeez, please. Um, I have. Oh gosh, this got squished. I have um, this Longchamp satchel. This is in nylon. And in the gray colorway. So it's nylon that has like the leather trim, the handle, the top flap, crossbody. Oh, is it that over there? That's the Chanel clear tote, and then right there is the Chanel phone bag in the metallic. Sister of a down, let's go to 35. The night is still young. Okay, okay. But I'm gonna get a bowl of soup, because I wanna try some. But this is, um, oh. The, the fabric, though, does have, like, some marks. Um, you might be able to remove them further, but I don't know. I didn't have, like, the best of luck trying to take it out. But there's some marks on the back. And then there's some marks on the bottom. And there's a couple marks here on the front as well. And has a crossbody strap, which is adjustable. I really like this strap, actually. This is a nice strap. And then interior has pocket and then another pocket. And the inside um, has a few marks, but not as much as the exterior. So, um, 
but we're gonna just sell this one as is like this that's gonna be 29 this is our long chomp um minimum well, let me see if i do fighting solace um long chomp gray nylon satchel with leather trim and silver hardware Okay, we're gonna do this one for 65. We had a, that's number 29. I know. What a deal. Okay, up next. Oh, wait. Oh, yay, Marjorie! Congrats, Marjorie! Yay! I know you love your long chomp bags. That's amazing. Uh, oh, who got the case bait again? The backpack? Oh, that's right. I didn't write it in my notes. Okay, up next. We have number 30. And, um, oh, this is another, like, little... Nylon and leather bag. This is a Tory Birch. This one's in like new condition. It has um, dark brown Safiano leather trim on it. And then the print is in a black, brown, orange, and like a salmon and white geometric print. And then it has gold hardware. Um, they have the little leather logo right there on the front. There is a a nice back pocket right here with a magnetic snap. And in the front, you have a magnetic snap as well that opens up. And it has a fabric strap inside. It's nylon. It's fully adjustable. And it's really cute on. Like, I feel like this is such a cute bag. It has a really fun color palette. And I think the design is really cute as well of the, like, the geometric um, pattern. And then when you open it up, there's a zipper pocket right here in the front. And then in the inside, when you get into there, there's just one app. Just one open pocket, or zipper pocket, I mean. And this bag is in like new condition. It's in really, really great shape. And this is number 30. This is our uh, Tory Birch Geometric print nylon and Safiano leather trim uh, bag with gold hardware. And how much is this, Adrian? Okay. Okay, we had this one at 75, but we're going to do 60 tonight. That's going to be item number 30. That's going to be $60 for our Tory Birch bag, and this one is in like new condition. And that's number 30, Tory Birch. So cute. Okay, then up next. Oh, let me look for, okay, minimal, 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 minimal. Um, I have like this made well. This one's kind of minimal. It just has, it has like this kind of like, roundish body shape it's in a olive green colored leather um on one side it has a magnetic like pocket but it's like very spacious I mean, it's like the same size as the bag and then the main compartment actually has a zipper and then the interior has no other compartments it's all completely unlined on the inside and it's just a beautiful olive green it has a cross body strap which is adjustable and removable and it has antique brass hardware and this one is in really great condition honestly kind of like looks like new and then it's kind of almost reminds me of the Hermes Evelyn almost kind of just like in its in sim its simplicity and kind of just like how it kind of functions um except this one you have a zipper which is nice because the Hermes Evelyn's don't have zippers at all so this is number 31 and this is our olive green Madewell uh, crossbody bag with antique brass hardware. 
And this one is going to be... Okay, we had this one at 75, but we're going to do um, 65 for it. That's number 31 for our Madewell. And then our next item is number 32. And we have... Ooh! Oh my gosh, everything is falling. And it's in a gray and black Safiano leather, um, has light gold hardware. There's just one exterior front pocket right here. Don't let the back fool you, there's not a pocket there. It's just fooling. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. And we have a cute little top handle. And then this zips open. It has little gussets so your stuff doesn't fall out. And then the interior just has one back pocket. And then it has, has the pink lining. This is also a newer style as well. And it has like the newer um, hardware on the front, which is nice. And wait, did I say this had like gold hardware? This has silver hardware. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said like gold. I'm so used to saying like gold with Kate Spade sometimes. Um, hi, Christine. How are you? Thanks for joining us tonight. Okay, so, um, yeah, and this one's in really great shape. That's what the bottom looks like. I don't, um, yeah. I think the only thing about the bag is that there's, like, light marks, maybe, on the hardware right there. Um, everything else is in great shape. Oh, and it says Kate Spade, New York, right there. Just, like, um, hot stamped. So, black and gray, Safiano... Uh, leather Kate Spade small lunch bag with silver hardware. Okay, we're doing 75 for this one. That's going to be item number 32. And then 33... Uh, oh, I have this, um, this is a, it's kind of like a vintage coach right here. Uh, it's a vintage coach, like, wallet. And it's in this red leather. It's embossed right there. It says coach leather wear established 1941. It has a back zipper pocket right here. And then when you open it up, looks like this. There's a clear ID slot. There's a pen slot. There's a little Velcro thing right here. I think that's like for like a calculator or something. I don't know. Is that what you used to, like what used to go there? I'm not sure. Um, there's a little slip pocket right here up top. And then when you open the thing, um, there's just like regular marks on the leather. The fabric is in good shape as well. I think the only notable things on the exterior, there's like a mark. Right there, there's a mark there, and up there, and just needs like a good conditioning. This would also be beautiful, like dyed brown or like a dark black or something. I think it would be really cool. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful leather wallet. And this is um, vintage, but it's made in China. But it's, um, I think this is still a vintage piece. And that's number 33. Vintage red coach zip wallet organizer with silver hardware. And how much is this favorite? Okay, we're doing this one for 25. That's number 33. Well, you know what I love about like vintage coach is that like a little conditioner like seriously goes such a long way. Like, well, I'm just going to put a little conditioner on this, and it's going to look amazing. And, oh, Lady Badger called it. Congrats, Lady Badger. This one's going to you. Is it okay if I condition the exterior really quick? I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. It's going to be so cute. 
Okay. Um, I'm just gonna put a little conditioner like on my little um, my makeup brush, and like just like look how fantastic it's gonna look. It just like makes it look so good. It just like. This vintage leather is sometimes it's just like so dry and then you condition it and then it looks amazing. So like look at that. It, like it already looks so good compared to the front and the back. It's like amazing. Also, makeup brushes to apply leather lotion, it's like next level. If you guys have like an old makeup brush you're gonna like throw out. Um, use it to apply leather lotion to your bag. Just make sure you clean it really well. And then it's like, look at that. So good. And look at the front. The difference. Amazing. Ah, oh, it's so good. Even if I just did like half the front. Top half. And I just like use, I just use the brush, just like work in the conditioner and then you can also use it to like buff it too which helps also with like the shine as well and like a little bit really does go a long way especially if you're using a makeup brush like look at the difference ah oh, so good even just like the texture of the leather changes too once you add that conditioner, just like brings that moisture back in. Yeah, Finding Solace, you got to. Makeup brushes. I just got these from the Goodwill. Like, no, I, oh, no, I actually got these from Veterans Thrift. So, makeup brushes, your old ones, or if you find the ones at the thrift and they're like, you know, they're like a good quality makeup brush, but you don't want to use it because it's from the thrift store and you don't want to use it on your face, use it on your bags. Just clean them really well. And you can use them to apply paints too. Applying acrylic paint with a makeup brush, it's like night and day um, if you apply it with a makeup brush. Like it's amazing. I don't know, it's really good and you get really nice like even coverage. Um, I love to apply acrylic paints with a makeup brush. If I can, I will. Anyway, that's it. So, congratulations, Lady Badger. <laughs> I'm sorry I conditioned your wallet. But, she's gorgeous. Okay. Up next. We only got a few more items left. We're going to go to 35. So, 34 is up next. Oh, perfect, Finding Solace. Yes. Let me know how you like it. Like, honestly, I don't want to apply leather lotion. Like, unless um, I really want to work it into the leather, I'll use my hands. So that way I can get some of the heat from my hands to work the leather lotion into the leather. But just using a makeup brush works really nicely, too. Okay. Um, 34 is going to be... This guy... This is our um, Coach Tabby bag, and it's like an ivory white leather um, on top, and then embossed printed snake, and then this is a like a smooth tan leather, and then we have the brass hardware. We have our top handle, we have the crossbody longer strap, and then we have the hang tag right there. There is a nice large back pocket. There are a couple little like indentation marks right there on the corner. I'm going to try to get them out, but just know that there might still be a couple little indents right there at the top. When you open it up, you have this beautiful, like, mustard-colored uh, microfiber lining, and you got a back pocket right there. There's a middle dividing zipper compartment right here that has the dust bag inside there, and then here's the front. And then there's also a, a front pocket right here as well and 
Yeah, it's so cute. I love that you can use these straps on other bags too, which I think is really fun. And you can just use one strap, keep both straps on, or remove them and just use this as a clutch. So, very versatile. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Okay, this is um, our Coach Tabby in cream, tan, and snake print leather with antique. And how much is this? Adrian? Okay, and this one is $150. It's going to call it a night. Um, I, I'm going to be back tomorrow, though. I'm determined to do a bunch of sales this week at different times to um, be able to let people um, join the lives as much as they possibly can. Um, I've been getting a couple messages at, like from people asking to do the live sales at different times, so that way they can join. So um, I think tomorrow I have the live set at, let me see what time I have it at. I think tomorrow live is at, Wait, is that 16? No, no, that's the 16th. Oh, okay. on Thursday, I have the, the live set at 11. And then... Oh, wait, I don't have a live tomorrow, do I? Should I do a live tomorrow? Oh, no, I don't have a live set for tomorrow. Just kidding. Should I do one? I'm just busy in the morning. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure if I can actually do a live sale. We'll see. But for sure, the scheduled ones, we have the one at 11 a.m. on Thursday. So that one's nice and early in the morning. That's Pacific Standard Time. And then on Saturday, our sale that we always have um, at 10 p.m. Pacific Time. And I might do one on Friday, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, yes. Last item for the night. This is going to be item number 35. And um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Also, if anyone has any questions about anything, too, let me know. Uh, I'll also leave the link one more time, too, for the giveaway. If you haven't had a chance to enter, we're giving away um, the Sanrio Little Twin Star um, cable protectors. They're so cute. So I'll leave your answers to today's question in the comments of the video that I linked. It was this morning's YouTube video. And if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to um, watch that video as well. Um, and then tomorrow, we're going to have another uh, new video at 7 a.m., uh, let me see what I have over here for you guys. Uh, let's do... Oh, I still have this little one. This one is so cute. Someone needs to get this one. I was, like, looking at Lueve bags today, and the Amazonas, like, this style are really expensive. I was like, whoa, they're going for like at least over like 800. Um, but this is a vintage uh, Lueve and um, Amazona. And it's in a blue nylon fabric. And then it has purple leather trim and silver hardware. It has the lock and then um, the clochette with a key right here. There is a little bit of rubbing on the exterior leather. Um, if you want me to color match it, if you purchase it, let me know and I'll go ahead and do that and that'll be free. I won't charge you, but I, I know not everyone wants me to, to fix up the colors or anything like that on things. So I always want to ask first, um, there's the back, the straps are nice and long, sits really nicely on your shoulder. There is a large front compartment and then um back one and then the middle zips across this will come with the original dust bag and there's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets um right there and yes i took green my zip oh kathleen that's awesome good to hear Oh, yeah, um, the Easter gift exchange to you guys. Don't forget, if you would like to, um, to join the Easter uh, Easter bag skit gift exchange, there's a Discord um, section for it, and then there you will find the link, because I believe we're going to be picking 
um, very soon, um, who is going to get who, like, who your secret gift exchange person is. I think that's going to be, like, early next week or, like, Monday. I I think it might be the 20th. So, um, definitely do that if you would like to join. I'm going to leave the link for the Discord group as well if you haven't joined our Discord group. And then you can join the giveaway if you wanted to do that. So, here is that link. Right there. Um, okay, so this is what number 35? How much was it, Vader? This is our blue and purple, huh? Blue, no. Blue nylon fabric, Loewe Amazona with purple. Leather trim and silver hardware and dust bag. And we will 385. Okay, this one is 385. Uh, that's gonna be item number 35. And that is our last item for the evening. Um, and if anyone has any questions about anything, definitely let me know. Or if anyone wants to see anything again or dimensions, um, let me know or I can uh, you can email me as well invoices will be sent out um 15 minutes within 15 minutes after the live ends and now we're going to be announcing our giveaway winner so let me get that link ah okay okay there's the link again let me see if my comment picker is gonna be working today i mean it's been Oh my gosh, I accidentally bit my tongue again. I don't know what is happening to me. I'm always accidentally biting my tongue. Oh, Marjorie, same. You know, you can add a strap to it. Um, you can add them to the rings. Um, like... Let me just borrow this one. Let's see how this looks. It's like a crossbody strap on it. So you can definitely add a crossbody strap to it. And then it'll sit like this. Which actually is not bad. You just um, attach it to the little rings on the strap. And then you can carry it like this. I think the newer Amazonas that have, like, the D-rings in them, the D-rings are just behind the hardware for the top handles. So um, they'll pretty much carry the same way um, when you carry, like, the, the new ones and then the older styles if you just put them in the hardware straps or hardware pieces, if that makes sense. I, I'm not making sense anymore. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So that's uh, 35. Put the strap on it. Right? I think it looks really cute with the strap. I wonder if I have anything that'll match that. Okay. Anyway, okay, so if you guys are all ready, we'll pick our winner. Oh my gosh, the rain is literally so loud. It is unhinged. Oh my gosh, my dad is like talking to my uncle on speakerphone and his voice is so loud and I thought there was like someone like at the front door. And it's like my dad talking to my uncle.
Why am I like trying to listen to what they're saying? I'm such a gossip. <laughs> Vader is laughing at me. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're just trying to listen. I can still hear them talking. Okay, we're gonna pick the winner now. <laughs> In three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Congratulations, Tofo is our winner. My favorite animated movie is Emperor's New Groove. Congratulations, Tofo. You are the winner tonight. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what they're talking about. They're screaming about over there. Um, but you are the winner tonight of our little giveaway. We'll send that off with your uh, purchase. I think you made a purchase tonight. Um, so we'll send that over with that. And thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me tonight. I'm not 100% certain if I'm gonna do a live sale tomorrow. I might, maybe, like later on in the evening. I'm just not sure yet. But for sure, Thursday at 11 a.m. and then Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Um, again, if anyone has any questions, let me know. If you're watching this live after the video is already over, check down below in the description box. Items availability and their pricing will be there. New video is going to go up tomorrow by early at 7 a.m. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. I love you all. Adios. Sayonara. Have a good rest of your night. Bye.